I keep on finding things I think is impossible and just proving to myself that it is possible. So my name is Justine Galloway. I'm from San Diego, California and originally New Jersey. When I was in my 20s, I ran two Boston Marathons and then the last Boston Marathon, um, I ended up at mile 18 going into the medic tent and DNFing. I eventually was diagnosed with something called runner's dystonia, which it makes it difficult to run long distances forward. It's been almost 14 years since I got diagnosed and through my diagnosis I found someone who lived in California who actually went through a similar diagnosis and found that running backwards was easier than running forward for her as well. Um, so that's kind of how I came across the fact that running backwards is easier. It's still really difficult. It just, you know, it's m mentally, it's easier than running forward for me. As I continue to run backwards, I continue to do further distances. So I looked up the half marathon uh, Guinness World Record for fastest half marathon backwards. And at the time I thought I could actually maybe uh, beat the previous record. So I set out to do that in, I think it was 2015, and um, I completed that with my brother um, and my sister and my now husband who spotted me. And so I got the record in 2015, broke the Guinness World Record, and then someone else got it. And then I, I got it back again in 2019. Someone else has it now, but um, I, you know, I was a, a walk-on to D1 running school. I never thought I'd have a Guinness World Record, so it's pretty cool to say you've had a Guinness World Record. Next up for Justine, a half marathon in November, and she plans to, uh, to run the New York City Marathon and even completed half Ironman. When I was running forward, I always thought I could do an Ironman, and I always wanted to do an Ironman. Um, and then when I got diagnosed with runner's dystonia, um, I didn't know what that future looked like. And so to go from not knowing what that future looks like and not being able to walk from my car to the supermarket um, without kind of breaking down to completing a half Ironman will be pretty awesome. So um, I sometimes forget to just be thankful for what I have and that I made it here to race day. And instead I get in my head and get super nervous and super sometimes negative and you know I think my husband has reminded me and and people around me constantly remind me that like we made it this far no matter what happens tomorrow I made it to this point and I did all the training and I trained with great people and there's always another day. So